Greetings Husu users, my name is Luis Oscar Maimi from Sinus Corp and I'm a Husu Certified Professional, Husu Solution Partner, Husu Data Developer and Husu Ambassador of Puerto Rico. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain how to generate link previews for Facebook and Google Plus pages using the Husu Ball Scheduler and the Husu Ball app. First, add the Husu Ball Time Sensitive Stream by installing the Husu Ball app and adding it as a stream. For this tutorial, I'm going to send two messages, so I will click the number two here. I will be sharing these two blog posts that I wrote. The first blog that I want to share is video, how to monitor Facebook page notifications in Hootsuite. And the second blog post that I will share is how to connect any Facebook page to Hootsuite for monitoring purposes. Okay, let's start with the first blog post. And what you will do is select the title of the blog post and you're going to right click, copy, go back to the Husu dashboard and in the Hubo Compose message box, you're going to right click, paste. After you paste the title of the blog post, go back to the same blog post again and you're going to copy the full blog post URL from the address bar by right click, copy and you go back to the Husu dashboard again and to the Hubo app and you're going to paste that link in this area which says add a link click there, right click and paste. Then you select the day you want to send this message and the time. Let me select a May 14th, for example, and I will send this message at a 30 a.m. It's okay. Once you select the day and the time, you're going to do the other messages. In my case, I need to do one more. So let me do that real click by doing the same process. I'm going to copy the title of the blog post, go back to the Hubo app, paste it here, go back to the blog post again, copy the full URL of the blog post and I'm going to paste it in add a link here. Then I will select a, another day which will be May 15 and I'm going to send this at 11, 10, 35 a.m. After you added the blog post with their full URL and select the days and time, you're going to click download CSV. After you download the CSV, go to the publisher and click schedule in bulk. Then select the CSV file from your computer. Choose the CSV file from the Hoopo app and you're going to select this date format. And now I'm going to select the Facebook page, which is this one in my case and, uh, and this one. And after you select the social network that you want to send the message to, you just click Submit. After the messages are successfully both scheduled, we'll go back to the publisher and you're going to filter to the Facebook page and the Google Plus page profiles by selecting them in the filter by profile here. Let's do that very quick. It will be this one and, in my, and this one. Once you filter the messages, go to the list view, which should be the default. And in each message, you're going to click the edit pencil icon here, which is this one. You are going to click it and that will generate the link preview for the Facebook page in this case. Okay, when you click that, a link preview will be automatically generated for that post we just both schedule. In the case of Facebook pages posts, you can have more than one thumbnail to choose from, which you can see here. I have 10 for this blog post. I'm going to use this one. But please note that this depends on the blog post you shared. If you're not seeing any thumbnail at all, it means that the blog post you both scheduled didn't have images or they weren't encoded correctly for Hootsuite to see them. The reason for why that happened and the way you can fix it so it showed exactly what you want is I will maybe discuss it in another tutorial. Okay, in the meantime, you're going to select the thumbnail that you want. You can change the title here and the description here and after you are happy with the edits just click save changes let's do the same thing for the ball schedule message that will be posted to the google plus page which in this is this one go to the click the edit pencil icon again and a facebook link preview will be generated for that google plus page in the case of google plus pages you can't select the thumbnail so just generate the link preview and click save changes that's the basic process of how you generate link preview. So let me do the other two that are missing for the next day. 
and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start with the Facebook, click edit, generate link preview, please wait. And that I like that one. I'm going to click, click save changes, go to the Google Plus page to generate the link preview. And I'm going to click save changes. This was Luis Oscar my me from Sinus Corp. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or contact me directly at sinus.com slash contact and I will be more than happy to help you out.